when he gets here, tell him I got tired waiting. He'll be here in a minute. I'd wait a minute, boss. He said he'd show up. I think I could live without him. I'm not so sure of him anyway. Late and sorry. But I'm worth waiting for, don't you think? Oh, it's getting a bit chilly in here. <laughs> and I'm a set up for pneumonia. Well, shall we close the window or get down to business? We'll get down to business. And you'll have to be very careful, Dave. Yes, have you seen this? Oh, this is frightful. You know, none of us ought to go near a dog race again. It's not that funny, Dave. We're betting a lot of money against Huntsman in the fifth. We depend on you to see that he does not win. That's the whole story. Yeah, not quite the whole story, Tyrrell. <laughs> the only part you're forgetting is my advance. You're going to see that Huntsman does not win? Right. How? Well, I don't know. Maybe I'll put a bit of chewing gum under his left front foot or give him a long drink of water just before the race starts. Cool, it's a pity too, you know. He's easy the best dog in the race. Well, here's our part of the bargain. Be sure you keep yours. Fair enough. Huntsman to win. How much? All of it.
sing that again, kid. You make me cry. As a matter of fact, I feel like crying all over again. Good. You've got a heart. You've got a soul. And you're sentimental. Oh, insulting me, eh? No, no, no. I can't watch people cry. It breaks my heart. Yeah. You hold the piano up for me like a good boy, and I'll dance you out of it. What are you doing there? Listen, I can stand anything but a cheap, petty, larceny crook. I don't mind if you rob a bank. I don't think I'd mind if I caught you holding up a train. But there's one thing I won't stand for. What's that, kid? I won't stand for nobody stealing my neckties. Not even my brother. <laughs> Hiya, Dave. Oh, all right. <laughs> she is a bad one you picked out. Here, try this one. Cool, that's swell. Thanks. Dots and all. <laughs> yeah, dots. How long have you been here? Long enough to hear you singing that song. You wouldn't like to sing it again for me, would you? You're not drunk, are you? Of course I'm not drunk. I'm too smart for that. <laughs> all right, you ask for it. Where'd you get it? I took a lot of suckers. Terrell? Half of it's yours. Now, the old lot, if you like, Jim. I don't want half of it. I don't want any of it. And I don't want you to have any more to do with Terrell and that gang. <laughs> it's an easier way of making money than singing in a joint like this for a few bob a week. Yeah, sure, and it's an easier way to get into trouble. Do you mind me telling you something? Shoot. Sure. You're headed for nothing good. Well, maybe you're right. I am right. Yeah? I'd get out of here if I was you, Dave. Why? Just over uh, two fellows talking. Said Dave had double-crossed the Terrell gang and, and they was going to get him. Thanks. Oh, you know, I, I just have your interests at all. Yeah, you thanks. Know, I... Why did you do it? Smart guy, wise guy. I'm not worried about Terrell. And the police? Well, yeah, what about him? You were mixed up with them next, that's what about them, and I don't like them. Do you know anybody who does? Listen, kid. If you're gonna wear my ties, you gotta learn how to tie them. You gotta tie things tight, see? You gotta take care of yourself. You gotta get a train tonight. You've gotta get out of London. And you gotta keep in touch with me. I can stay at Chick's place out at Edendale. He's not using it this week. That's no good. You've got to clear right out. I'm not afraid. I know you're not afraid. But you're taking a train within an hour and you're going away. And you're going to take care of yourself. And you're going to let me hear from you tomorrow night at the club. If I don't get word by then, I'll know everything's okay. Now, Scram. Swell, kid. Jump. Hello? Give me so one, two, three, four. Terrell? Jim Connor here. Listen, I hear you guys have got some ideas about my brother Dave. Well, you better lay off, see? You'll have a lot of trouble on your hands. Who's that? Jim Connor. What's he want? I'm getting tough about Dave. What do we do with him? Oh, we'll take care of him as soon as we take care of Dave. We'll have to. Now, 
you're in London. It's a vile and wicked city. But it's lovely. You will be in danger. You're alone. What are you going to do? Well, I, I don't know. Going to some hotel. I really don't know. What do you advise? I cannot give advice. I am a philosopher. Phone Whitehall 1212. Whitehall 1212? That's Scotland Yard. She'll take care of you. There's a phone box there. You must not be alone. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hi, Dad. Hello, Madison. Where are you going, Dave? No place. I'm just waiting for a friend. Cigarette? Thanks. Bad luck today. Cool, I am, sorry. Yeah, it was bad luck. For you. Will you be using the phone long? Well, I don't know. I'm not going to I'm in a hurry now. Oh, Don't go, miss. I shan't be a minute. Then I'll get your number for you. What is it? Whitehall, 1212. Well, that's the yard. What are you calling them for? Well, I, I'm still there. Take care of me. Operator, get me Piccadilly 4644. I want a hotel for tonight. Hotel? We let him have it, all right, and I think we got him. I'm not sure. What is it? He went that way. No reply. That's impossible. There must be somebody there. What number are you ringing? Look here, miss. There's no need for you to call the yard. I know a place you can stay right here in the neighborhood. It's reasonable prices, respectable. It's just what you want. Well, I, I don't know. It's all right, miss. You can trust me. It's right up the street here. You. Just you stick close to me. You're sure this isn't too much trouble? No, not at all, miss. Hello, Dave. Hello, Terrell. Hi, boys. See you later. Sure. One room left, and that's 22 on the second floor. Very good room, sir. The room's for this young lady, not for me. Three and six bed and breakfast. Is that all right? Yes, I'll take it. This way, miss. Good night. And thank you. Good night. Now I'd like to thank you. Good night. Anything else, miss? Do you think I could have a cup of tea? Or at this time of night? Well, I'll make it myself if... Oh, all right, I'll get you one. Thank you. All right.
Excuse me, miss. Would you do something for me? Of course. Please. Take this message. What message? Please tell me. You're ill. Yeah. I'm all right. Now sit down. Who's my tie? Find my brother. Green cockatoo. Tell him tell. I don't understand. What's his name? Connor. Green cockatoo. Tell him tell. Promise. I promise. Thank you. You're hurt. No, I'm through. I'll get a doctor. No, no, doctor. Oh, wait. Here. Cut away my shirt. Collar. Green pocket, too. to kill him to get the money, little fool. Now you're in a fine mess. You're laying for this. I didn't do it. He was ill. I was just trying to help him. The police will have a good laugh over that story. Where's the money you took from him? Maybe a good lawyer can help you. Where's the money? What is it, Lily? I didn't do it. I met him at the railway station. He brought me to this place. He wanted me to help him. You expect the police to believe that? Yes. Everyone must believe it. Everyone. They've got to believe it. They've got to believe it. He's dead, I tell you, dead. The girl did it. She just ran out. Didn't you see her down the street? She stuck him with a knife. Can't get very far. I'll pick her up before morning. I'll just come in and have a look at the body. Call the doctor. No, no. Sounds like Dave's finished. That settles him. Yes. But it doesn't settle Jim. Come on. My dear young lady, do uh, come in. Come, Will you come. give me a lift? Well, the greatest of pleasure, of course. I you know more than delighted. My, my, my little fingers in that door as good as it might. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's the thing. I say, this is stuck. Let's go to Maiden. No, I want to go. Oh, I've forgotten the name. Well, that's funny, so have I. <laughs> well, it's a place, the green, the green something. Yeah, I know, green chateau. You can get that made in here. No, it's a place in London, the green something. I know, the blue dragon. Charlie, things might get a bit hot around here tonight. I'll be upstairs. If anybody asks for me, I'm not in. Except my brother Dave. I'll get you, Jim. Give me a drink, will you? What, eh? There you are. I got you your head, didn't I? Green cockatoo, everything. Thank you. No, 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 no trouble at all. No trouble at all. I'm on my way to Brighton. And if I don't hear from you, when I get there, I should know that I didn't make it. Thank you. No, John, that's Please, can you... 
you tell me where I can find a man named Connor? I could, but I can't, so to speak. Oh, but please, it's important. I have a message for him. He's not in, miss. Not in? I try tomorrow, miss. Our license, Inspector. Everything open and above board. Save that for another time, Charlie. I'm looking for a girl. A girl? Young, small, wearing a white Macintosh. She's wanted for murder. Seen anybody like that about tonight? Well, I can't say I have exactly, Inspector. So many girls going in and out of this place all the time, you know. Besides, you know what it is with me. See no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. <laughs> Chinese, that is. A sailor taught it to me. Chinese, eh, Charlie? Get out of here! Oh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to. Well, that's all right, kid. What can I do for you? The police are downstairs. The police? That's nothing new. They're always busting in where they're not wanted. All in the cause of law and order. But they're after me. After you? I don't blame them. What do they want you for? I haven't done anything. Honestly. I don't care whether you have or not. the upstairs room. Yes, sir. The joint's knee-deep in coppers. They'll be up here in a minute. Looks like you're stuck, kid. What do they want you for? I'll never get away. Will you help me? Sure. I'll help you. Don't know why I should have this time of night. Take your clothes off. What? No, no, I mean, um, take your coat off. What are you going to do? I'm going to make you my new partner for a minute. Listen, can you sing or dance or do card tricks or anything? I can recite. No, that's no good. Can't you sing a little? A little? Good. Follow me. Now listen, kid. You're tough, see? You've been singing around these joints for years. Coppers don't bother you more than flies in your beer. If they ask you any questions, just sass them back. Say, you got nice eyes, kid. That's a cop. They've all got big hands. Just a minute. Now, listen. I'm going to start singing, see? Every time I stop, you just sing Smokey Joe. Got it? Just say Smokey Joe. Okay? Come in. Well, 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 Pat. How are you? Come right in. Glad to see you. This isn't a social visit, Jim. I'm glad of that. There's not a drink in the house. Who's this girl? This one? She's my new singing partner. Singing partner, eh? Right? Yeah. Like to hear her? She's terrific. You are terrific, aren't you? Yes, I'm terrific. Yeah? Listen. <laughs> Every girl in town crying the low down blues. Who's that handsome 
so and so, what's his name? Smokey Joe. Who goes sneaking round at night, rhythm in his shoes. Everybody wants to know. Say, what's his name? Smokey Joe. He's here, he's there. You'll find him everywhere. That Turk won't work. He likes to take it easy because he ain't got a care. Now, who's got gambling on the run? Who's got loaded dice? Shoots that seven ch every throw. Who's that man? Smokey Joe. Smokey Joe. That's American style she sings. Sort of different, isn't it? Yeah. Hmm. Thought you'd appreciate it. How long have you been his partner, miss? Oh, uh, just... Oh, just a couple of weeks. Picks it up fast, doesn't she? We're looking for a girl around here. Small, baby face, wearing a white making dust. Seen one like that? Nope. Wouldn't look twice if I had. Well, well keep your eyes open, will you? By the way, Jim, you'd better run down and see the inspector. There's something he wants to talk to you about. What is it? He'll tell it. Fooled him all right. Every time a copper comes in here, I want to open all the windows. He's plenty dumb. He's just thrown you in jail for singing like that. Wasn't I terrific? You were terrific. I'm sorry. Oh, stop it. What you need is a cup of coffee. I need some fresh air. I'll take care of you. But no more singing. with that Jane. Come on. Somebody's following us. the arches. Come out of there, you. I know where you are. You stay 
here. I'll see if they've gone. Probably on the embankment by now. Come on. They've gone. We'll give them time to clear. Kind of fun, isn't it? It's no fun for me. Just like playing hide and seek. Didn't you ever play it when you were a kid? Not this way. Who were those men? Just a couple of bad boys. Why are they after me? They're not. They're after me. You? Yeah. They don't like the way I comb my hair. Come on, let's get out of here. Jake's got his lorry around the corner by the embankment. Yeah, sure. You're a swell dame, you are. Why, I fell for you the moment I saw you. You know, every time I look at you, I just think of plain bands, bedroom suites. Where have you been? I saw that man with a knife and I, I thought you were dead. Ha, you're a balmy kid. What's the use of coming back if I was dead? Come on, don't stand there, Jeffrey. We gotta get going. What made you come back? Well, I had to find you. Don't ask so many questions. There's the best coffee on the market. You can't touch it at the price. Who wants to at any price? <laughs> Two copies, please. Hello, Jim. Okay, Jake, we gotta go. Yeah, sooner we'll get lightning started. He's in one of his moods again. I'll snap him out of it, I'm in a hurry. Okay. Feel better, kid? Come on. And I'll tell you what I think of your blinking coffee when I come back. Come on, will you? Take a seat, kid. There's no extra charge. Now, what's this all about? What have you been doing, anyway? Shall I start at the beginning? As good a place as any other. I came to London tonight from Shalford. Shalford? What's that? It's a town. Oh, I get it. Shalford's one of them little towns that the little girl came from to make her way in the big city, right? Yes. And you left your mother and father. Just my father. And all the pretty trees. 
Yes. Elm trees. I know, and there are roses around the door. And now you're lonesome for the green fields, the trees, and the cows. I know that story by heart. And I don't believe it. Look, why don't you tell me the truth? I'm trying to help you. But it is the truth. I came to London tonight on the midnight train. In an hour, lady, you were rushing into a joint in Soho with a flock of cops at your heels. Nice going, kid. Well, I had a reason. I had to deliver a oh, message. I don't blame you for not being on the level. You don't know who I am. Anyway, whatever you've done, it's your own business. I haven't done anything. Then there's nothing to worry about. Unless you start singing again. Why did you help me tonight? Because uh, I hate cops, I guess. Because you look so funny. should have clipped him outside that club. Where's Steve? He's over at Riley's, waiting for me. You got your car here? Yeah, she's downstairs. And what are you going to do about it? Do you know where he is? At that hangout at Edendale. Jake took him and the girl there. Don't your friend mind us coming here? Nah, he only used the place once in the blue moon. His butler will let us in. He knows me. Well, won't he mind? He may be in bed. I don't believe that bloke ever goes to bed. I don't know why he keeps a butler in this dump. He's full of swank. Nobody ever stops here except me. Oh, hi, Prothero. Oh, how do you do, sir? Is it all right if we come in? Please do, sir. You're more than welcome. Yeah, I can. The royal suite. Make yourself at home. Thank you. I hope you'll pardon my appearance, sir. I, I wasn't expecting visitors. Oh, that's all right, brother. Governor away? Yes, sir, unfortunately. And has been for a long time. You get a bit fed up with yourself, don't you, brother? Being all alone? I do find it rather tedious, sir, compared with my last situation. Last situation? Uh, yes, sir. Lady Diana was, uh, if I may say so, a bit of a goer, sir. One of them bright young things, eh? Precisely, sir. Sixty-four she was, but quite a stepper, sir. Quite a stepper. Quite a stepper. I take it you mean she was quite a stepper? Yes, sir. Shall I prepare the double room? Or single, sir. And what time breakfast? We'll go into that later, Prothero. Cut yourself a slice of sleep. Look as if you need it. Scram. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, thank you, sir. If I may say so, sir, I find it quite refreshing to receive orders again. Good night, sir. This looks nice and comfortable. Yeah, sure. You'll be all right here. Yeah, it's got class, this joint. Just like a museum. Hey, I bet he paid 30 nigger for that furniture. Oriental, isn't it? Look at that picture. See what I mean? Delegant. 
gives the place tone. F. D. Bull. I guess that's the guy who painted it. See the little man in the boat? Look at that water. Looks real, doesn't it? Yeah, I wouldn't want anything cozier if I was married. Um, married properly, I mean, married lines and everything. Blimey, look at his library. Seven of them. Up the Amazon with a fishing rod. Seaweed collecting by cannon softly. It's the sex life of a newt. Thought if you was a newt, you didn't have any. Oh, maybe I'm thinking of a neutral. Eric, or little by little. Eric was not quite himself, or he would not have acted as he had done. His potations, though not deep, had, with the exciting events of the evening, made his head giddy. And the stroke of the cane, which he had not now felt for two years, roused him to madness. Nice kid. Open your eyes, kid. Yeah, they're blue, all right. Just wanted to make sure. That's my favorite color. You got brown hair, too. It's a swell combination. None of your dizzy blondes for me. You never can trust them. You know all about women, don't you? I know enough about them to know when I've got something. You're just the right type. Blue eyes, brown hair, about five feet two, seven stone ten, right? Yes. What's your name, kid? Eileen. Eileen? I used to know a poem about a girl called Eileen. I'd recite it to her if I knew it. Hey, what was that you said about reciting tonight? Yes, I can recite. I wish you had. Go on, let me hear something. All right. Um, sleep dwell upon thine eyes, peace on thy breast. Would I were sleep in peace, so sweet to rest. That's Romeo and Juliet. Romeo, yeah, I heard of that guy. He was a sucker for a good-looking dame, wasn't he? Yes, I suppose he was. Mm. I got one for you. Uh, there was a young girl from Bombay who down by the river did play. One day came a sailor. Well, you, you wouldn't want to hear the rest of that, would you? I, I don't remember it so good anyway. Hey, I'm hungry. What do you say I get old flannel face to rustle up a couple of eggs for us? Yes, that would be nice. Tipped him off your hair. All right, brother, I'll handle this myself. Your name, Jim Connor. Yeah? Who are you? Never mind that. We'd like to talk to you. Okay. Come in. What can I do for you? Scotland Yard asked us to look in and see if you were up here. They did, eh? 
Well, you can call the boys right back and tell them I am. They want to see you. They've been looking for you all night. For me? What do they want? Don't you know? They don't tell me, they may guess. I got it. Three dames jumped in the river last night and left notes blaming me, right? I'll tell you down at the yard. You ready to go? Sure. There's only one hitch. I got a sort of a date for breakfast out here this morning. Don't worry about that. You'll be able to keep your date, if you still want to. I'd hate to keep the little lady waiting. Sorry, Jim. There's some of his effects here. You have them, of course, if you want them. Dots and everything. Who killed him, Inspector? You don't know, Jim. Do you think you can tell us anything to help, anything about Dave? You know, his friends, or what he was doing, or...? He was just a good kid. That's all. Who killed him, Inspector? I think it was a girl, Jim. You're wrong. No, we think she met Dave, and she took him up to her room. You're wrong. Perhaps not, Jim. She was at the Green Cockatoo last night. You were there. Did you see anybody who had a baby face, rather pretty, young, just over five foot tall, between seven and eight stone, brown hair, large blue eyes? Did you see anybody like that? Brown hair, blue eyes, young. And if I did, why do you think she killed him? Perhaps she was after his money, or...? You're wrong, Inspector. No girl took Dave. No girl could ever take Dave. I know who did it. Who? Don't take any notice of me, Inspector. I'm a little nuts, I guess. Thanks, Inspector. Better go home and get some sleep, Jim. Yeah. That's what I better do. Yeah. 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 May I have your hats, please? We're not staying. Oh, dear, dear. Life seems to be just one mad rush for everybody these days. It's a butterfly existence, isn't it? We're no butterflies. We want to see Jim Connor. Oh, yes. Uh, just one moment, please. Pardon me, miss. These gentlemen would like to see Mr. Connor. Stay where you are, you. Who? Connor, Jim Connor. Who's he? Guy that sings the green cockatoo. He brought you here, didn't he? Jim Connor? Sure, he left word for us. We're all friends of his. Where's he gone? I don't know. Has he got a brother? Yeah, he had one till last night. What do you mean? Some dame picked up Dave and killed him. Knifed him in our room. No, no, she didn't. She never touched him. What are you talking about? That girl didn't stab Connor. Then who did? I don't know, but a man named Terrell had something to do with it. Who told you that? Connor himself, just before he died. 
What are you going to do about it? I don't know. I suppose I ought to tell the police. The thing for you to do is get down there right away. Don't you think so, Steve? You're right. Well, I don't know. Don't you think she ought to tell the police, Butterfly? Prothero is the name, sir. Well, what do you think? Speaking in generalities, being unacquainted as to the actual details of the case, I should say the conveyance of the information in question to the proper authorities would be virtually mandatory. What's she talking about? Well, all right, but how am I going to get to the police? Well, we're going up to town now. We'd be glad to give you a lift. The car's right outside. And if you're sure it isn't any trouble? Not at all. On the contrary, you'll be doing us a great favor. All right. Thank you. How much longer must we wait for your friend? He'll be here any minute. Take it easy. You couldn't he meet us at the police station? No. Why not? Because he wants to tell you what to say to the police. Well, I can only tell them what happened. There's lots of different ways of putting things. Be along in a minute. I'll wait for him. Where's Madison? He'll be along too. I'll wait for him as well. Sorry about last night, Jim. Too bad about Dave. Jim, I'm so glad you're here. to see me here, did you? Well, I never expected to see you here either. Not even after what the cops told me. Not even after I remembered why you were running away last night. How much they pay you for the job? Oh, but you're wrong. I don't even know these men. They said they were your friends. I suppose they kidnapped you and brought you down here. I suppose they stood over you with guns while you stuck that knife into Dave. You didn't do a thing, did you? Honest, you didn't. But I can explain. You'll never explain that body line up there on the slab. His face all twisted. His eyes staring up at the ceiling and not seeing anything. His hands all dead and cold. You'll never explain that away. Not to me, you won't. Holding hands and making up to me half the night. All the time you killed my brother. But I never saw your brother before last night. I was trying to find a hotel when I got off the train. He said he'd show me one. After he took me there, he came up to my room. I could see he was hurt. 
He could hardly stand up. I tried to help him. And all he wanted to do was get a message to you. To Connor, the green cocker, too. That's why I went there. I went there to see you. You saw me, all right? Why didn't you give me the message? I didn't know you were Connor. The barman said he didn't know you, and he didn't know where you were. And then the police came in, and I got frightened, and I ran into your room. Won't you believe me? What did Dave want to tell me? He said, tell him, Terrell. He kept repeating it. Terrell, Terrell, Terrell. I'm sorry. You must have got him at the station. Hello, Connor. I'm glad to see you. I'm glad to see you, Terrell. You're not leaving, Connor. I want to talk to that girl and I want to see you. Jim. What's the trouble? I want to see the inspector, Sergeant. There's some guys in there you better take along. Jim. Don't worry about me, kid. And don't worry about yourself. Coming to Shelford, kid. This is where we stop. Yeah, this is where we stop, all right. And this is where we start. <laughs> <laughs> 